extraordinary movie. A motion picture that deals with the last sexual mystery. But it is much more than a motion picture. There are no actors or actresses in it. There are just real people. And what they do, and how they feel, and what happens to them in this all real sexual adventure, you will remember all your life. Last year, I was a man. How does it feel to have the body of a man and the sexual drive and desires of a woman? Or to be trapped in a woman's body and have the overwhelming sensual needs of a man? I always felt like a woman, even when I had a penis. In only the past few years, we have been able to take a human being who has had this monstrous biological joke played on him or her, who was born with the genitals of one sex, but who possesses the heart, mind, and soul of the opposite sex, and reverse it. Anne, as you have noticed, in spite of her female breasts, still has a penis. You are going to see for yourself, step by step, the operation that transforms a man into a woman. I'd undergo the operation again and again. When did you have sex with the man? About six weeks after the operation. It was quite painful, but after the sexual act was over, I felt wonderful. I felt that finally I was a true female. I went to bed with a young man and uh, maybe because he was the first or maybe the surgery was still a fresh surgery. I bleed. I started bleeding. And uh, so I didn't even have to tell him why because he, the first thing he said was, ah, you know, this is the first time in my 28 years that I've been with a virgin. Let Me Die a Woman. An all-real, all-true, overwhelming experience.